If you've got enough true grit to throw an Oscar party on Sunday night, you don't have to make a king's speech or anything to get the party started. But the people in your social network will certainly expect a nice menu. And this morning, Chef Allison Fishman of Cooking Light Magazine is making an Oscar bash that won't break your budget. Great to have you back with us this morning. Great to be here. Thank the you. Oscars are such a fantastic reason to throw a party. And it's fun when you can sort of play off, obviously, the movies there. Absolutely. So some of the, we'll start off with, with getting the party started. You say one of the best things you can do, print everybody a ballot. Yes. As they walk through the door, hand them a ballot. Let's let's make this night about the Oscars. It's about the movies. Let's have fun with it. It makes for a little friendly competition, too. And then whoever wins could perhaps get this lovely take-home prize. <laughs> Absolutely. We've actually got some movies here that are already out mm -hmm. on DVD, some popcorn, some free movie passes. A let's great idea. Let's keep people invested. Hey, it's in not it. the swag at the Oscars, but it's not too shabby. <laughs> So, so keeping in the vein of this year's Oscars, we're going to start off with a signature cocktail, which is inspired by the social network. Exactly. We have the social network apple martini. Uh -huh. um, Aha. There's a pivotal scene in the social network where Mark Zuckerberg is sitting with his friends, and they have a round of apple teenies. So here we go. Okay, so what is in an app? This involves this... this um Radioactive color green, <laughs> but this is this it reminds people of like a Jolly Rancher. Kind of yeah. smells like it. What's actually in the apple liqueur? This it's apple liqueur. It's um, sour. It's a it's a you know it's interesting. It's like a, a flavored liqueur. So okay. it's kind of it's very strong, very boozy. Okay. And in addition to that, we're gonna go. You can go pour this in and our shaker with a little ice. And we've got some apple juice. Apple juice. And then we've got some vodka. Here we go. And a little bit of sugar. Water, okay. so sugar and water mixed together. You can mix that right up. Then comes the fun part, the shake. A shake, shake, a shake, shake. <laughs> Woo! And here's what's important. <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when you put the top on, you should hold the top on like this, and that's why a professional might use two hands. Allison, would you like to put this in the glass? You just got the party started. That's an Oscar party, don't. <laughs> anyway. Well done, well it's done. it's dark, you can't really see it. Now it's a party. And that's before we had a cocktail. <laughs> so here's the apple martini. So cheers to that. Cheers. Well done. Up next, we need a little something to eat or a lot of things to eat because it's a party. Yes. Toy Story 3 mac and cheese. Absolutely. Toy Story 3, three cheese mac and cheese. We've got your gorgonzola, your parm, your mozzarella. So here's, Ooh. yes, we've got a little flour and milk going Making here. a little roux. Making a roux, exactly. In goes the gorg. Now this is obviously Toy Story 3. It's a kid's uh, really great cartoon movie. Fantastic this is movie. mac and cheese for the kid and all of us. Exactly. So after you make your roux, then you're just going to mix it in right with your mac and cheese. Exactly. You want to bring it on over here? Here we go. And this is a great cooking light recipe that lets you have your mac and cheese guilt-free. I like the guilt-free part yes. of this. Absolutely. There you go. And we're going to spoon it into these little ramekins, which helps you uh, keep the portions Keep the in portions check. small. Actually, each of these servings has just 321 calories, That's which is nice. That's not too bad. No, and let's not, not forget bad. the calcium and vitamin D you find in cheese. Take it. Who doesn't need that for I'll healthy bones? It. Yep. Right? And now you layer this with just a little bit of that mozzarella. Okay. Which is? Where there you is go. The, oh, the little part. Okay. Put a little bit of that in there. Yes. And then we'll and top then it with a little more And then we mac. take it out of the oven, and the magic of TV, we've got them ready yes, to go, right? Yes, magic of TV. Let's see. We have them all done. In the There's bottom one here, right? Panko breadcrumb on top. Okay, this looks great. We're going to dive into this really quickly. Tell us about, we've got there sandwiches go. for, for the King's Speech, and then right here, what are the Red Devil Cupcakes for? Which movie? These are red velvet carpet cupcakes, ah. right, for the luxury and elegance of the red carpet. Mm. We have the Fighter Boston Cream Pie. Perfect. We have the white and black swan cookies. I like it. And yeah. as we mentioned, the tea sandwiches for the King's Speech. Absolutely. All delicious. We're going to continue to sample a little bit and clean up. Allison Fishman, thanks.